Previously, in Big Brother's more shocking twist yet. Sam and Sophie. These two housemates will be immune from next week's eviction. Here's to immunity. immunity. Woo! But that was a lie, as they will both face Friday's eviction. Tonight, live. You'll be asked to choose one housemate to come and join you in the safe house, and therefore receive immunity from this week's public vote. Yay! But the truth is... Who do we want to share the good life with? They're really sealing their feared. If I could get someone out of the house, it'd be Dexter. Absolutely goes without saying. I don't find him that interesting. Something's very suspicious about this chap. Dan, what have you said? As that housemate will join them. This bunch of people, I've never met anything like you in my entire life. And face the public vote. I smell a storm brewing. a.m. Some of the housemates are chatting in the bedroom. Hey, what do we usually do on a Sunday? Normally noms, but mm. I have a feeling we won't do them today. Yeah, yeah, I have a feeling it might even be... Um, Sam and Sophie. Might... Sam and Sophie are going to have something to do today. Yeah, they are going to have Definitely. something to do today. Sophie is having difficulty with Sam in the safe house. Sam? I did actually. I had a nice sleep. A nice think. Yeah? Good. Putting things together. Yeah. Oh nice to get perspective. Mm. Yesterday, housemates had some tough words regarding Charlie, Dexter, and Callum's love triangle. I'm finding it just ridiculous that it's creating this much <laughs> conversation that's constant. Do you fancy Charlie? Do you like her? Do you want to be with her? Yes. <laughs> and you? No. Do you feel that about Dexter? No, that's funny. No. So then there's no triangle. I feel, mo I feel much clearer this morning yeah. on everything. Yeah. And like, I still know exactly who I still really like and who I want to see on the outside and I hear my closest friends in here. I just enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it, yeah. Enjoying it and the relationships. Friendships. Well, I don't need to think because of yesterday that you're, li you're still literally best mate in the house, one of, my, one of my three that I know I'll definitely see afterwards and my closest people in here and that I respect a lot. Are you feel right about things yesterday? Yeah. Mm. You know, things, things always mm. get out of hand No, I know, stuff, but, so I I want, yeah, but I don't want you to think that I still genu I genuinely, genuinely like you. Like I always said to you, I didn't, didn't never want anything to be awkward or hit you in any mm. position and stuff like that. That's, that's you, just, you never have. You know, it, was just a, just, it was just a good you know, talking yeah. about it. You never made me feel uncomfortable ever for everyone else's sake and for all of us having to always talk about it. That's all it was. And it's like I said, you know, at the end of the day, personal business is personal business. It doesn't mm. anything to do with anybody else. Eleven or five a.m. Jack and Joe are bickering. Right, always end up doing it. What? The washing up. Well, it's not your birthday anymore. Not for another three, six, four days. And it's not your birthday anymore, Joe. So why don't uh, you? Ah, just do, do the washing. <laughs> Big Brother has called Sam and Sophie to the daily room. Hello, Sam and Sophie. Hello. <coughs> How are you enjoying life in the safe house? Loving it. Loving it. With safe house power comes great safe house responsibility. Oh dear. <laughs> in 24 hours, Big Brother will ask you to make a big decision. You will be asked to choose one housemate to come and join you in the safe house and oh. therefore receive immunity from this week's public vote. Yay! To help you make this big decision, 
Big Brother has given you the ultimate power. Control of the diary room. Control of the diary room! Oh, so what I... does that mean? You must create a wish list of questions to be asked to the housemates of your choice. Big Brother will then ask those questions on your behalf to those housemates in the diary room and Big Brother will show you those answers later. You can ask questions to three different housemates. Big Brother suggests that you now spend some time in the safe house deciding who you would like to question and what questions you would like the answers to. They need to be logical though because we can't just sort yeah. of ask them questions, do you like Sophie, do you like Sam, because it's <laughs> obvious. You can now leave the diary room. Mm. Hang on. We just had breakfast, just uh. like ham and melon and loads of little snappy things. Oh. So, right, what three people? The twins is one of mine. Callum's one of yours. Are you happy with that? Hundred percent. Okay. Hundred million percent. Mm -hmm. But um, and the third person. Dan, could you be in here? We Dan. both like him. Dan. Yeah. Yeah, I like Dan as well. I love Dan. Right, so them three. Yeah, wait, don't stop talking. Because <laughs> Dexter's, like, so sly. I know. He, like, re he, he, like if people see us talking like this, because we haven't, they'll realise. Eleven twenty-five a.m. Gina and Dexter are fantasizing about the outside world. I'm going to have to seriously do some creative recreation shopping when I get out of here. Oh my gosh, we're going shopping anyway. This, this, this. We're going crazy. This, yeah, definitely. We're going like all over, and we're going to get like chauffeured too. <laughs> Sam and Sophie are discussing which questions to pose. Which four housemates would you like to see in the final? Yeah, that's a good one. No, I don't know. Wait. Yeah, because we can't keep asking them questions. We can't ask them questions to keep basing it around the safe house and everything because they'll realise. Well, I don't think the twins will realise, but I think that um, they'll Damn. realise. What people would you like to see go... The in the scene. next couple of weeks. Hazel is talking to Big Brother. There's nobody in the group that I don't particularly get on with. Um, you know, you kind of... Yeah, you're going to bump into everybody at some point when, you're, when you've three rooms to kind of go between. Um, yeah, you do. I guess you float around between everybody. There's always someone everywhere and you don't really kind of... Uh, tend to stick to the same people, like I said, as the group gets smaller. So, um, yeah, I'd say I'm a bit of a floater most of the time. I suppose your role is never definite in the house. Week to week, you never know whether you're going to be here or whether you're not. And, um, you know, I can I can be quiet and moody sometimes and want to be left by myself. And then, obviously, um, if we get a few drinks or whatever, everybody livens up. And um, I, I suppose I, I'm a bit of a wind-up merchant sometimes. I have a bit of fun with everybody, and I think people take it in good humour. Right, let's think about this logical right. Who do you think the one to, the one who is not safest out of the three? Definitely you call them not safe. Out of the three. Think. Definitely. See, because I think Dan Callum's always nice. Mm hmm Callum got saved. Callum didn't go this week. Dan's been up once. And the only reason why he's not been up is because people like him in here, but I think if he went up, I reckon that he would get um, boos and cheers. He's too controversial, like he's always, always saying stuff like, and arguing with people, and yeah, he's had arguments mean? with the twins, and he says what he thinks, and I think, I, I, I don't know, I just think Dan is not the safest out of Three. Out of the three, then you don't know, do you? No. But this is what the questions are for. 
Coming up, Sam's worried. Do I want to know the answer? Oh, well, yes, clearly. Oh, I don't want to know the answer. And has Dan rumbled the task? Do you think that the diary room conversations we're having are going to be played to Sam and Sophie later, maybe? Probably, possibly. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm. Twelve fifty-two p.m. Sophie and Sam are mulling over which housemate they want to join them in the safe house. Who do we want to share the, the good life with? <sighs> Who do you think is most desperate to come in here? Out of all of them? Yeah. I don't think Callum's so desperate. No. I wonder what they're going to have to be up to. Well, they'll probably have to numb. I'll get on with both of them, so it shouldn't be me. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, yeah, you might have a week off, Gina. It might just be me. Should we say to Callum, if Charlie really liked you, would you choose her over Sam? It's a good question, but for me, do I want to know the answer? Well, yes, clearly, because this is the whole point of finding out who's real or not. He might be one of them guys that's like, no, my boy is come first. I don't really know Charlie enough and whatever, blah, blah, blah. Or he might say, yeah, I will choose Charlie. Oh, I don't want to know. Well, you need to know because oh, you need more. to know how we're going to choose. if it is the wrong answer, then, you know, this might fuck up my experience, you know, I might not enjoy you as much. I won't trust Callum enough. We need to ask the question to see how he reacts, to see what he will say. But don't you think it's better to see if someone is really a true friend? Because I would prefer that. Could I have struggled to deal with it if Callum did choose Charlie and that would affect my happiness in the house? It's an important conversation. Yeah, but they locked the door. Are they still talking? Because, no, because of the length of the conversation they're having. And because they locked the door. No smiles. <laughs> Look, don't worry, at the end of the day, we have been made to do this. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll just ask that question. I think I can deal with it. Don't let me down, no, Callum. I don't think you will. Mm. I don't it think you will. It's how strong you feel for Charlie. Hello, Sophie. Hello. So, who is the first housemate you wish to question? Um, the twins. Who is the next housemate you wish to question? Um, Callum. And who is the final housemate you wish to question? Dan. Their answers will be revealed to you in secret later. Yeah, yeah. And again, you must not reveal any details of this to your housemates. OK, then. One twenty-two pm Housemates are debating how to entertain themselves. Wheelbarrow oh. races. What? Yeah. Races. Piggyback races, anything. What about tied leg what races? About leg? Yes! Three legged races, let's do it. I'm sitting back and watching. Or oh, what? Something that everybody's going to do. Uh, um. We got a hoop. What are you saying? We could do a limbo. Yeah, limbo let's do a limbo. Fun. Let's have our own Caribbean party. <laughs> Caribbean carnival, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> you got to stand still. You need to stand still, come on. What? Is that dancing? Do the main centre! Woo! Shimmy. What's that? You're jumping. Two or four p.m. 
Big Brother has called Jack and Jewel to the diary room to put Sophie and Sam's questions to them. Jack, Jewel, who would you like to see evicted on Friday? If I could get someone out of the house, it'd be Dexter, without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. Who do you think will be evicted on Friday? Um, possibly Callum might go, if he's up. Yeah. Oh, and I don't know about Charlie, cos I'm not sure if people find this whole Charlie thing really amusing or really, really laborious. Something's very suspicious about this chat. Why? I don't know. My head just sounds suspicion. Why? I don't know. OK. Something just doesn't add up in this conversation. Anyway. Hazel and Dexter have found some common ground. Nobody draws bloody anyone. I trust you, Lise, but I find you entertaining. Only for obvious reasons. Yeah. But at least there's someone in here capable of something other than being best friends. I suppose so, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? We're not stuck in here for 20 years, you know? That's true. That's true. Dan and Callum are soaking up the sun. I'm um, apprehensive for Sam, because I think if he, if he has to make a hard decision, I, I know he'll handle it deep down, but he won't like to handle it. He doesn't like to be horrible. It's not in his character, it's not in his nature. No, but at least Sophie's in there with him, and Sophie... Sophie's tough as Sophie old boots, yeah. Sophie would be quite influential, I would have thought. Like, she, Sam will obviously imp make input, but I imagine if Sam's not wanting to sort of step forward yeah. and make decisions, Sophie will Sophie sort of will. Yeah, deal I agree. with that okay, so... She's quite strong, yeah. Um, we don't know what they're doing, we know... No, no, I don't, no, don't, I don't, I don't. Like. No. I get the feeling we won't nominate this week, though. I get the feeling as well something will be different. Most of the housemates are making lunch. What was the sudden? Just asking questions. Oh, like random questions. Really? Yeah. yeah. Were you a bit kind of like, OK? Yeah. They were blunt. Yeah. Very blunt and very... Like, who do you want to Who go? do you want to be evicted? Who do you, who do who do you, you think, think will, will be evicted? evicted? Yeah, why are they asking you already when no-one's been nominated? This is what we're saying. We found it all a bit weird. They called us up and then they said, who would you like to go? Who do you think will go? What was it from, the viewers, or...? No. no. Who do you want to be evicted? Who do you think will be evicted? How do you feel about Sam and Sophie being in a safe house? If you could swap with Sam and Sophie, would, would you, you swap, swap with, with Sam, Sam and Sophie? Sophie? This is slowly, slowly, slowly yeah. building into a climatic oh. thing. But everything they said made me think... You're as, it's as if they were asking us so they could tell everyone else. The questions weren't average questions. No. I smell a storm brewing. Yeah, so do I. Three thirty-three p.m. Sam is asleep in the safe house. Dan has a theory. Do you think that the diary room conversations we're having are going to be played to Sam and Sophie later? Maybe. Probably. Possibly. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Probably. I thought it's the whole house actually, but which would be horrendous. Maybe yeah. they will just play it to none all of, the... None of anything we say anymore is nothing that the, any of us don't know. No, you know I mean? it's yeah. It's very basic, general, kind of. Mm. Sophie's got her clippers out. You ain't, you ain't a bad girl. You ain't a bad person, so I can't see, can't see me fall now with you in here. You know, but no, I doubt we've, it. We've got another four weeks to go, but I can't see it, so... No, there's nothing I, I could say bad about you. No, no, same, same goes. I'm a soft touch. That's about it. Yeah. You know I am. Yeah, you are. I know. That's your damn fault. I know. But you can't help it if you're just genuinely a nice person. 6.32pm. Jack and Sophie are thinking about fame and whether any housemate will gain any. Some of us could go out really, really, like, proper celebrity, like, make their way right up there and get really big and everything mm -hmm. and we would still look at them as like a normal like day-to-day -day person rather than a celebrity because we lived with them while they was in the yeah. making i don't think anyone will become that don't you not big big no i think dexter will be a celebrity i reckon dexter will be a celebrity Celebrity is the talk of the house. Aw, they're so cute, Jedward. Oh, I really like them. Really like Jedward. 
clever, very, very clever, smart. They they've, are. They've just gone rolled with it. That's, yeah. that's the way to be. They're clever twins. Yeah. If I was a twin, oh my god. If I was a twin, I'd smash it. I'd smash it if too. If I was a woman, I would be a billionaire by now. <laughs> billionaire. Would you? Trillionaire. <laughs> but people would get sick of the saturation of it by one woman, like. Yeah, but I, no, not, no, from business mind as well as just putting oh, myself out. You mean out, your mind? You're like, in a woman's like, body. Yeah, yeah self-promotion. Yeah, yeah. You mean would, women's body with your brain? Yeah. Your mind in a woman's mind body? Yeah. Stop it. Like, par <laughs> like Paris Hilton, she's a clever girl. Why do you think, Jed, Jed, what do you mean, Jed would have rolling it? They're just like, they've been branded that and they, they don't just care if they're made out to be idiots. Yeah, yeah literally like anything that comes their way, they'll take they'll it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Until, until there is literally nothing else left to do. Or that way they made it, I do yeah, but if you think you're young and you're given a chance to make more money than you could possibly Ever make in make, a normal yeah. job, yeah. all you've got to do is be a twat. Yeah. And accept it. <laughs> yeah. It's a no-brainer, really, isn't it? Be the or yeah. be the idiot kind of thing. Because when it runs out... Gone. Then, as long as you haven't spunked your money up the wall, you've, you've done the correct thing. Mm. Who cares what people think? Mm. Money's not everything, though. Yeah, you're right in that, but these, you know, if you're young, and you're never going to make... It comes down to a level of self-respect at the end of the day. If you yeah. don't respect yourself enough just for the fact of money, what's the point of doing it? Because without respect, what's the point of money? You've got nothing to live for. You've lost your respect and you've got empty money. What's the point? True, but they, them mind. two... Just from a pure perspective, though, it's Yeah, yeah, I mean, from, from them two kids... Well said, Joe. Yeah, them two kids, they would never get a chance to make a million quid, and they've probably made a million quid. We've all sold our soul. Yeah, we really have. No, we no, signed we that contract have. and walked in the yeah. store. We the sold our soul. pen to paper and walk through here. We've sold our yeah. soul. Might they as well sign it when you wake blood. up. They see everything. So that is selling yeah. your soul. This is us, like completely naked. Yeah. The one that confuses me on here is Callum. Hmm. Really, really nice, and then really loud and brash. I'm like, hmm. Mm, yeah. What are they talking about out there, then? Shit? They said Jed Wood. What? They talked about Jed Wood. Then they talked about how they made a killing and how they rolled with it. Selling their souls and being branded as idiots. And I went, well, what's the point of that? At the end of the day, if you don't have any respect for yourself, money means nothing. <laughs> You're fine. All right, Gandhi. No, I was just fed up. Who's Gandhi? <laughs> Coming up, Sam and Sophie's TV dinner. If it meant you had a better chance with Charlie, would you end your friendship with Sam? No, not with any girl. Would I, would I do that for, to Sam? And Gina and Charlie beef. Because if In they're... future, if you want to make a point about anything, don't use me because I don't like it. You always say the wrong things all the time. I know, but that's And it's even... annoying! It's so annoying! <laughs> New York, the Big Apple, the Empire State. Whatever you call the city that never sleeps, we want to send you there for five nights where you'll stay in a fabulous boutique hotel with £1,000 spending money, all courtesy of Very. And while we're at it, fancy a new camera, laptop, phone, headphones, tablet or an entirely new wardrobe? Well, help yourself because you'll also get a stonking £5,000 to spend at very.co.uk. So for your chance to win, just tell us. Who is the celebrity ex-housemate? A. Ryland Clark, B. Amy Childs, C. Razor Ruddock. Text A, B or C to 81555 or send your answer name and phone number to BB2 PO Box 7557 Derby DE10 NP. Winner must be 18 or over. Text costs £2 plus one message at standard network rate. Lines close on the date shown on screen and three days later for postal entries. For rules and winners, go to channel5.com forward slash win. Seven twenty-seven p.m. The boys are quizzing Gina about her culinary skills. So, Gina, if you have to cook at home, what do you cook? I, I'll cook chicken stir fry with noodles. Japanese noodles, though. What else do you cook? Um. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it, mine. Proper thinking. Um, um, what have I ever done? Cheese on spaghetti toast? with cheese. 
But no meat. Oh, tortellini is the easiest thing in the world. I love tortellini. Fresh tortellini, though. Tortellini with a nice tomato basil -y sauce. You actually it make tortellini. You actually make the spaghetti I, I don't, pasta. I don't make it <laughs> by scratch. I buy it fresh. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and then I put it in the, um, in the boiling water. Well, for about five for, minutes and it's about, done. Um, no, not five minutes. One and a half minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says in the pack. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Earlier today, Big Brother gave Sam and Sophie control of the diary room. They chose to quiz Callum, Jack and Joe and Dan. Big Brother has provided a DVD of their questions and answers for their very special TV dinner. Oh my Whoa. God! We've got dessert! Whoa. Oh! That actually looks decent. Oh my God, we've got wine! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at my watch. I ain't seen my watch in fucking ages. Oh my God, that picture's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> How funny? Mmm, this looks nice. Mustard. Oh, yeah. If Big Brother gave you the opportunity to change places with Sam or Sophie yeah. and live in the safe house with the luxuries and the immunity from eviction, would you? No. Um. I wouldn't do it to, you know, my best mate Sam. I want him to go all the way. Um, but even with Sophie, Sophie's a lovely girl. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice for them. If it meant you had a better chance with Charlie, would you end your friendship with Sam? No, not at all. Not even if I was totally head over heels with Charlie, which I'm, which I'm not. No, I can take, I can take it or leave it with Charlie. I would never, no, not with any girl. Would I, would I do that for, to Sam? Oh, but I, good man. Yeah, he's a good man. I don't. Head over to Callum. Callum. Dexter's going to be so pissed off if we choose Callum. Okay. <laughs> I want to see the twins so bad. Done the most interesting, I think. Mm. Jack, Joe, who would you like to see evicted on Friday? If I could get someone out of the house, it'd be Dexter. Without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. He's, He's been nicer, out. but I just think... Stop. Still down at the point. All right. Sorry. And then the, the other second one... one... No, we're not sure on the second yeah, one. Yeah, I think I'm torn between Dan and Callum. I'm torn between Dan and Callum. Yeah. Dan I do Callum. think that possibly Callum might go. If Big Brother gave you the opportunity to change places with Sam or Sophie and live in the safe house, would you? No. I don't think I would because they both deserve to be. They in both there. deserve immunity. I, I like both of them a lot. We voted they, them they, in. They've been permanently happy. They've been permanently, permanently open and honest. I, yes. Like Sophie's my best mate in this house, and I said if I wanted anyone in this house to win, I'd want Sophie to win. Yeah. So like, I really wouldn't take it away from them. And Sam's really nice as well. It's interesting to see Dan's now. Dan, what have you said? I hope, I hope that he's not. Can you imagine? Do you have a least favourite housemate? Probably Callum. Just because I haven't connected with him, I don't find him that interesting. I think he's a nice guy, but he's not the type of person that I could see me being friends with on the outside, which is nothing against him because I think he is a nice guy, but he's just not the type of person that um, I would normally probably socialise with on the outside. So um, for that reason, um, I'd probably have to say that he's my least favourite housemate, I guess. If you had the chance to take a big chunk from the prize money, would you? If I could leave with thousands of pounds in my back pocket, then obviously that's a big security for me for when I when I do leave the house. So I probably most likely would take some money if, if I had that opportunity. Every, everyone was how I thought they was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, though. This isn't really been impossible. What I was thinking was, <clears throat> at the end of the day, Callum's your Bessie in the ass. The twins are basically my Bessie in the ass. Who do you think's more safe, the twins or Callum? We can never see, but, you uh, know, we never know, but... We know Callum's like, because we've heard, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, Dan, I don't know. Mm, this is hard. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah. Eleven twenty-five p.m. Like, no. oh, no. <laughs> Dan and Hazel are in bed. Not being really funny. I've smoked forty cigarettes in four days. It's disgusting. <laughs> and I'm eating a lot. And yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
thumb is straight. <laughs> 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 Sam is describing his type oh, okay. to Gina. I like a long, long traditional way of it. I'm not gonna lie, I like hearing that. Yeah. But when I when I see a girl there uh, on a button, I find her very attractive. Not on a button, but top. Oh, it shows it shows all of this on her ears and stuff. But with you now, I can only see three quarters of your face. <sighs> Because your fringe is covered in Can you stop face. comparing me? Can you just leave my face with my hair and me alone? I'll just use you as an example. Don't use me as an example. Don't do a Charlie like the other day. Wait, what was that conversation? Which conversation? You and Charlie up there. So you met G. Uh -huh. And to start with, you, between you, you weren't attracted to her. In that way. Yeah, you gradually boosted. Okay, then if while you're in here, then say day by day by day by day. So it's going with it really well. And then suddenly the person becomes more and more gorgeous. He was trying to demonstrate, like, even though you might not find someone who's that attractive, you can grow to find them beautiful. Why is she using me then? Of course. Um, Charlie, why are you using me as an example? Oh, for fuck's sake. Why are you <laughs> oh, you <laughs> should. Sure. Sure. What are you saying? Why am I setting you as an example? If you don't find someone that attractive, and then after you find them attractive... No, I didn't say... I didn't... Sam? Okay, Gina was sat right here, we were there, and I said, okay, imagine you met Gina, you don't fancy Gina, but in two weeks' time, you grew feelings for her, you suddenly start fancying her. But that's all I said. But every normally fancies me. So... <laughs> that's not my problem. I don't, I don't so I fancy you. No, no. But you're trying to, 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 you're you're trying to, 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 you are trying to 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 you are
Gina and Dexter are whispering. This Friday. Dexter, you can bet. Well, fuck I'll go to bed just yet. Do, like, give it like five, ten, minute, ten minutes. What? What am I going to do? What? Just go back in there and chill and listen to everyone's conversations. And then go to bed. Yeah, but it's all boring. Callum stroking Hazel's hair. <gasps> Let's go. Charlie's got Dexter on her mind. Yeah, I do find comfort in him in terms of he gets me. That's why I find comfort. I think I get you. But then I wonder... I don't think he gets anyone. I think he plays along pretending he... to get along with people. Get people like earlier in the series, he's pretending to get Hazel. Mm. Then he was pretending to get you, and now it seems like he's trying to get Hazel again. I like Dexter. He is what he is. He's playing a game, and that's, and that's what he's like. Oh, no, yeah, no, if he's here to do that, would you? I yeah. hate him. No, I yeah, no, hate, hate him. Hate's a strong, just, strong word. I can't, no, I can't yeah, confide yeah. in him, and yeah. the fact that I won't confide in him because I don't trust him offends him, so he wants to spend less time with me. Yeah. I wonder what it'd be like spending time on the outside. Like, it, how different he'd be if he'd be exactly the same character. Harsher. Probably. Yeah. Uh, right, Dexter, speak of the devil. Oh, what? What did you say? Nothing. Don't say that. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Whatever. Good things, actually. Why is everyone asleep? No, not Dexter. No, no. Good things. Hazel? No, Is everyone going to sleep? Right. Callum? See you soon. Thanks. That's so boring. I'm going to bed. Is everyone going to bed? No, I've got a feeling tomorrow from onwards is going to be deep, so I want to get my energy deep. up. Deep. It's going to be hard. Probably. Yeah. Coming up, stay tuned as we go live to the house for Big Brother's biggest lie yet. Hello and welcome back to Big Brother. Now, as we all know, Sam and Sophie were chosen to enter the safe house on Friday, which they think means that they're immune from this week's eviction. But this is Big Brother Secrets and Lies, and that was a big, fat lie. In fact, the two of them face eviction this Friday. Now, we're about to cross live to the house where Big Brother is going to tell the housemates another lie, that everyone apart from Sam and Sophie are up for eviction, and that Sam and Sophie must choose one housemate to join them in the safe house to receive immunity. It's time to cross to the house to see who they choose. Is it my silence, then, yeah? Well, you didn't stick to us. Well, this is Big Brother. Housemates, this week there will be no nominations. Instead, you all face eviction. Okay. On Friday night. Yeah. He's all happy maybe, now. maybe not, maybe Wednesday. As housemates elected to place Sam and Sophie into the safe house, they are immune from eviction this week. Sam, Sophie, Big Brother has a big decision for you. As you know, you now need to choose one housemate to join you in the safe house. Not only will that housemate live alongside you in luxury, they will also be given immunity from eviction. Sam, Sophie, you now have 30 seconds to decide which housemate should join you in the safe house. Yeah. All other housemates should remain silent. Oh, God. So we know anyway. Yeah, we've made we it. We chose decision. Dan. Oh, that's really nice. That's really amazing. Nice. Yay. But we was out of three, and I had the twins, uh, Sam had Callum, and then we both decided on someone that we thought we both got on with. Yeah, and, that's good you know, idea. so we chose Dan. Mm. And we think that you all like, we respect us. Thanks. <laughs> <Fair play. laughs> We're going to well done, Dan. Yeah, we can discuss it more anyway. And we see Good all point. your VTs. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, you well, saw the VT. In, I looked back, didn't I? No, 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 no. We didn't see your one. We didn't see your one. We see all three of the VTs. Who you want? Sure I want you in. to see everyone's. I was so excited. I was like, oh, did you only get to choose three to watch? Yeah, they said only three. You came in in VT. 
Mm. What, like, they're coming in now, BT? Yeah. yeah. What was it like? Well, I'm quite relieved the monster, so at least we don't have to nominate people. So, no, all the applause was hilarious. I was sitting there, I was going, I love him, I love him. What was going on? Oh, it was a good juice was in your ass, weren't you? Was it in your ass? Yeah, the little and the blue bit. Sam, Sophie, will one of you confirm the name of the housemate you have chosen to join you in the safe house? Dan. Sorry. Thank you, housemates. This means Callum, Charlie, Dexter, Gina, <laughs> <laughs> Hazel, and Jack and Joe face the public vote this week. Open, yeah. Thank you, housemates. You are free to leave the sofas. Open the storeroom. Is that mean we all get ready on Friday? Did you give me? Does that mean we all get ready on Friday? We both sort of said to each other, right? I'm so embarrassed. I want Joe and Jack, and he's um, I want Callum, and I said, well, we need to choose someone we and we both said that. It was proper. Was their VT really funny? It was so funny. And you was like, you was like, yeah, in your. Cheers. That's really good, man. Cheers. Thank you. Let's go and see them too. David Beckham, anyone had, um, anyone had uh, chosen to work for... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I reckon that's your foul on Wednesday. Okay. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's going to be perfect. That's going to be right for both of you. Oh, fine. Yeah, the whole house. Yeah, the whole house. Yeah, I think it has been a hard choice, though. That you said, um, six weeks or something. Yeah, I'm not. It's definitely. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to be right for both of you. It's going to Good choice. Good choice. Yeah. Come on, Gina. You're not getting your week off yet. Gina, I'm going to. Everyone's like a run-up joke. Seven or eight, is it now? Oh, God. 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 But then I'm not gonna lie, I wanted the twins because yeah, I thought that'd be funny. Yeah. I said, well, we both get on with Dan, we both love Dan, and, and then he, we just said, right, we we're just gonna we're just gonna choose Dan. Thanks, Sam. Cheers. Because you're a good decision in both of us. So. Yeah. 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 I know I get on with you both, so I yeah, I understand your reason. I think they're shut out, they're shut, shut out, so no one's seen. I'm sitting there saying, I thought they must be putting on bed in there. Bed in. Yeah. I feel really weird. Did you feel weird on Friday you when you got put in there? Oh, my God. You can have lunch. You can have lunch. It is cold. Because one of the things that when they asked me about on Friday night, why would I like to go in there? I said, and yeah, do you know course, the questions? Oh, yeah, you know the questions she's got asked? That was us. Yeah. In the diary room? Yeah. Did you get to and we watched answers? it back, yeah. yeah. Did That's you? You, yeah. yeah, and you were all oh, so yeah. genuine. Jack and Joe! And, <laughs> and Callum! So, there we have it. Dan joined Sam and Sophie up for eviction this Friday. They think they're safe, but they're not. Here's how you vote. This week, Dan, Sam and Sophie all face the public vote. Who goes, you decide. From a landline, call 090 20 50 58 and add the number of the housemate you want to evict. From a mobile, call 6 50 58 and add the number of the housemate you want to evict. For Dan, add 04. For Sam, add 12. Or for Sophie, add 13. Mobile and BT landline votes cost 35p. Other landlines may vary. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. Votes cast after lines close won't count. For full terms, go to channel5.com forward slash vote. So this Friday is going to be an absolute corker of an eviction. Stay with me after the break, where I'll be back in the bot studio with AJ talking about all the latest house action with Joe Swash and Lydia Scott Lee. And if that wasn't enough, I'll be coming face to face with Spidey sister Stephanie Pratt. Wish me luck. See you after this.